Hi everyone from Tommy Van Kool. In this tutorial, we will see how to install and properly set up the free server Ninja, to which customers can connect, having the privacy for their content respected. Stay tuned. Using the Ninja client on Reaper or on other DAOs, servers whose access is public are proposed. Anyone can hear what you are playing or saying via talkback, chat and participate. By installing a Ninjam server, however, you can keep your session private. Here, we see step by step how to do it and start working with clients remotely in a few minutes. Go to cocos.com slash Ninjam. Click on Download. There are versions for Windows, Mac and Linux. I choose the one for Windows. You choose for the operating system on which you want to install it. The settings and procedures are the same for all. I extract the contents from the zip into the folder. I rename the file example.cfg as settings.cfg. I edit it with Notepad or with any other text editor. I take note of the default port. You can always change it at will, but I use this 2049. It will be used for setting the router later. I forbid the anonymous access, setting to zero its flag. I rename the license file from CC license, which stands for Creative Commons license, to NDA, which stands for No Disclosure Agreement. Those who enter actually must accept conditions other than Creative Commons. The content is confidential and not transferable to third parties except under owner's decision. Therefore, the text file that is shown at the connection time must be the appropriate one. You can completely omit it by commenting the line by a hash. I then set the administration and user passwords including permissions. The non-necessary lines are commented. Full permissions can be given by a star or limit them through the initial letters that define them. The list is here. Leaving the permissions field blank, standard permissions are granted for simple users. Remember to adapt users each time according to customers. I set the tempo up and the interval. Other settings concern the log files and other stuff but they are not important for this operation. Save and close the editor. I create the NDA file and I write the server license terms. Save and close. I create a shortcut in which I add the name of the settings file that the server must load. I rename it at my taste. At this time, if the installation has not already been done on a USB stick, you can transfer all the files on it in order to have a portable installation. Double-click and allow data flow through the firewall. I call the router. At the same time, holding down the Win key, I type R, I give the CMD command and the Windows console opens. Type the command ipconfig and take note of the IPv4 of the server machine, which in my case is 192.168.1.147, and then close the console. Go to the router's routing table, or NAT, enter the port 2049, enabling both TCP UDP protocols, and type the IP of the computer where Ninja server is running. The server is now ready to operate. To your customer, give your public IP followed by column, port number or, if you use dynamic DNS services such as Dino or DDNS, your domain always followed by column, port number. I execute a connection test at 210 IP to verify that everything is OK. To the server, I connect another PC with a Ninjam client. Everything is fully functional. 
ready for use at any time. That's it for today. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned something. Please thumb up, subscribe to the channel and hit the small bell to receive notification anytime a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you soon.